ask a Kingstonian for directions to the waterfront, and he could easily suggest you close your eyes and let your ears be your guide. Kingston is a city full of familiar sounds, perpetual sounds many residents here inadvertently take for granted. There's, of course, the dependable chime from the City Hall clock tower, the thrice daily toot of the tour boat horn, and the high pitched shriek of the ever present seagulls. So familiar are the sounds in the Granite City that anything unfamiliar is a surefire attention getter. What is that? I don't know. People's ears in Kingston this afternoon is a mint condition two and a quarter ton Dutch concert street organ built in Holland 110 years ago. The reaction of those who hear it today is much the same as that of Franklin Foley when he first heard it in Amsterdam back in 1954. My reaction, oh man, couldn't believe it. Yes, thrilling. I stood out in the street and uh, the gentleman didn't speak English. But um, I hung around and hung around, and he eventually let me crank the organ. At that time, it was being uh, cranked by hand. At that time, an exhilarated Foley made an offer to buy the organ. He walked away to the sounds of disbelieving laughter. The organ then became a citizen of The Hague, quite literally. So taken were the residents of the capital city, they renamed this musical masterpiece De Hagenar, meaning citizen of The Hague. For years, Franklin Foley couldn't shake the sweet sounds from his head. So then we started over again uh, with Mr. Schupnack uh, in uh, Hanover to see if we could acquire the organ. And in 1984, uh, managed with the assistance of a good friend in Holland to acquire it. Since then, Foley and his wife Dorothy have traveled the Ottawa Valley sharing their prized possession for all to enjoy and answering unending questions about its origin and its creator. Carl Fry was um, not only an organ builder, he was a musical arranger, a composer, the whole bit. Man of many talents. Yes, yes. Uh, they always uh, could never understand how his pipes worked because they looked so crude. But no one could build a, a pipe that sounded like Carl Fry's pipes did. Fry converted this one-time hand-cranked 67-key instrument to a 90-key book-operated system. Foley and a Dutch craftsman took it one step further, adding several carillon and bifon pipes. Now, the organ is similar to any other organ, a church organ, etc. The only difference primarily being that instead of someone manually playing it, it's programmed by what is called a book. And the book consists of a cardboard that folds back and forth and with these various punchings in the book, they program the organ to do all the things it's supposed to. You can see at the top, these are the snare drums reiterating the hammers. This is the bass drum. Down below, this is the little bandmaster making his arm go up and down. The bass and treble are through here and the uh, various uh, changes in the organ occur are programmed down here. As the book passes over the 90 steel fingers, they send little puffs of air down to master valves that tell the organ that this set of pipes are to play, or the drums are to play, or the cymbals, or register changes are to occur, etc. So basically, it's a very simple organ, but uh, 
the beauty of it is you don't have to have any musical ability to play it. When something goes wrong with De Hagenar, Foley is on his own to fix it. It's the only Carl Fry concert street organ in Canada and one of only four of its kind in the world. So what do you think of the organ? Does that bring back memories at all? Oh, definitely. Uh, we used to see them as children in all the fairs. It's really beautiful, and that is music. <laughs> We have one particular lady who um, married a Canadian soldier, and I believe she has not been back to Holland, but she heard this organ on the streets um, when she was 16 years old, and she usually uh, just sits down in front of it and cries all day. <laughs> Holland's loss was Canada's gain. De Hagenar is now and will remain a full-fledged Canadian, adding the sweet sounds of music to the familiar sounds of Kingston and the Ottawa Valley. Contact. Joe, you did very, very well. Oh, look at you. you must have done it 50 times. Oh, no more lines, so please, Michelle, no, no more, more lines. No more regional contact lines, oh, I promise. Good. What Thank I'd like you to do now is spell out De Hagenar for me. 50 times up on the board. <laughs> De Hagenar. We'll see you next week. De Hagenar. While he tries to figure it out, we'll say goodbye. See you next week. E, 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 E. The medalists strut their stuff. Join us live from Lethbridge, Alberta for Sun Life Skate Canada International tomorrow at 3.30. The crew is disappearing. Star Trek The Next Generation is next.